What is happening guys, Donegan Fitness and Nutrition here uh, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, my school trauma. Now I have had a suggestion, uh, a suggestion. Um, I've had someone from uh, my page ask me uh, what exactly happened in school with me. So uh, I think it was on one of my uh, mental health videos or something. I was talking about like um, my experience with depression and all that. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be getting into in today's video. So let's start from the beginning. So pretty much I went to a Christian school for eight years, for the first eight years of uh, my education, uh, year one to year eight. And uh, it was a very closed off sort of place where uh, there was only a hundred kids there and it was in, uh, it was, it was in Kefili and I've, I live in Murfa, I've always lived in Murfa. So uh, yeah, you know, I, I was there for eight years, didn't know any difference. So I kind of just went on with it. Um, yeah, um, so, you know, I, I didn't really have many problems there. I mean, I hate this school, so yeah, I hate this school. Um, yeah, I've always been a bit of a warrior, definitely, just thinking about the future, all the, like most of the time, thinking about the worst case scenarios a lot of the time as well, so I, it's nothing new, but I sort of was able to manage it, so that was good, obviously, in uh, in uh, that Christian school. But um, it was in year eight that I decided that I wanted a change. I wanted to meet new people. I wanted to... Uh, you know just be in my hometown so i wanted to go to a, a public school like literally five minutes away from my house and uh i did yeah so i was i think it was september 2018 well yeah it's gone fast uh, uh 2018 and um in this school it was you know obviously coming from a, a very strict christian school to a you know a school where there's two thousand kids um, you know, it was a big change for me and I didn't really know how to react to it. Um, uh, the first two weeks went great. I mean, on my first day, we had a cooking class and uh, I made a pizza. So it was, you know, it went, it was all good. So, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, no, it, it was, it was good. So, uh, yeah, so it was, it was two weeks and, um, it was just about the third week. I don't know, I don't know what it was like the first month, um, really, really difficult. I started having panic attacks. I started, uh, really uh almost feeling sick to my stomach i started having heart palpitations just because of the sheer i i sort of miss my friends definitely back in my old school and also um maybe it was some type of agoraphobia which is a fear of being with people or i i don't is it i, I don't know a fear of being outside i think i don't know but uh you know i started uh you know i, I think it was just obviously the contrast between 100 people to 1200 so uh being in a big classroom and uh you know fundamentally I, I i just felt like a big uh you know a small fish in a big pond really compared to the other schools so you know it was a it was a big change and um a lot you know there was a support group there they helped me they did what they can with me uh and uh, yeah so i was there for nine months in our school and uh i did not turn out very well i mean i i you know you know, I, I was anxious every single day, always thinking the worst, um, always worrying, you know, am I doing something wrong? And uh, that I think that that's definitely where the OCD came from. I, I do I do have OCD um, and I do ruminate a lot as well. So I think that's definitely where it, it stems from, from a, a sort of a trauma there because I was very lonely. So in that school, you know, obviously coming from such a small background to, you know, see, knowing literally everyone there to being, you know, so, so, so small in a, such a big place. Uh, it was really, you know, it was hard to handle and I mean, I, I couldn't handle it. So, uh, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I was super grateful that I could get a private tutoring, um, you know, so a private tutoring off the uh, government and all that. So, I was able to get that and I got my GCSEs, so, you know, it all worked out. But uh, even to this day, I still still ruminate, I still, you know, it's uh, it's almost like a, a PTSD type thing. But I am getting help, I am talking to a therapist. And I, I, feel, I feel good that I'm being open about this because, you know, on my page, it might look as if I'm just uh, having the time of my life and that I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm smashing it every single day. That's not that. That's social media for you. You know, I, the majority of people on there that look just so happy, beautiful. You know, the, they have the best figure. They don't look that. They don't look like that all, all the time. And that's that's something that we don't realize as a society. I don't, you know, we don't really realize that. Um, so yeah, you know, it's it's um, 
you know, I, I feel good that obviously I am opening up about this. So yeah, I am talking to a therapist and uh, I'm probably gonna get interested in some cognitive behavioral therapy. So um, just, uh, I think, just thinking patterns, I think, definitely. Just thinking, you know, I always think about, I always think of the worst. That's definitely, if honestly, I want this to be an open discussion on this video. If, you, if you've if you ever experienced some mental health issue, I but let's talk about it, guys, because it's really, it is important. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, if you've suffered from OCD, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, but we'll talk about it. So, you know, it's, um, if you're, uh, you know, if anyone's got something out there, I, I know it, I can relate. So, uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's my story of school. Hope you enjoyed. Hope um, maybe you could sort of, you know, maybe relate to this, some people. Um, by the way, guys, uh, this video is not uh, a substitute. I'm a substitute for, um, you know, advice from your GP or a professional, uh, your know, medical doctor thing. Uh, um, your local surgery. Contact them if you have any issues. Contact a therapist. This video should not be a substitute for you going out and seeking help. Um, I, I recommend the Samaritans, they are 24-7, 20, they, they do a text-based support, uh, you can chat to them on the phone if you're ever feeling really down or even suicidal, so yeah guys, thanks for watching, I hope, that, I hope this helps and I'm really glad I opened up about this, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, peace.